Welcome everyone to Salman Bashir, the channel. In this video, I will discuss who were Neanderthals. Before moving forward, I request you to subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell icon. Let's start the video. Our closest ancient human relatives. Neanderthals were humans like us, but they were a distinct species called Homo neanderthalensis. Together with an Asian people known as Denisovans, Neanderthals are our closest ancient human relatives. Scientific evidence suggests our two species shared a common ancestor. Current evidence from both fossils and DNA suggests that Neanderthal and modern human lineages separated at least 500,000 years ago. Some genetic calibrations place their divergence at about 650,000 years ago. Both dating issues and fossil anatomy mean that scientists are currently uncertain whether the last common ancestor of Neanderthals and modern humans was Homo heidelbergensis, Homo antecessor, or another species. When did Neanderthals live? The Neanderthals have a long evolutionary history. The earliest known examples of Neanderthal-like fossils are around 430,000 years old. The best-known Neanderthals lived between about 130,000 and 40,000 years ago, after which all physical evidence of them vanishes. What did Neanderthals look like? Neanderthals had a long, low skull, compared to the more globular skull of modern humans, with a characteristic prominent brow ridge above their eyes. Their face was also distinctive. The central part of the face protruded forward and was dominated by a very big, wide nose. Some scientists think this feature may have been an adaptation to living in colder, drier environments. The large internal volume of the nose would have acted to moisten and warm the air they breathed. Their front teeth were large, and scratch marks show they were regularly used like a third hand when preparing food and other materials. Unlike modern humans, Neanderthals didn't have much of a chin. Neanderthal Intelligence and Behavior Despite their reputation as being primitive cavemen, Neanderthals were actually very intelligent and accomplished humans. These were no ape men. So it's unfair to them that the word Neanderthal is used as an insult today. The brain size of late Neanderthals ranged from at least 1,200 cubic centimeters to 1,750 cubic centimeters. This is larger than the modern average, but in proportion to their body size. Homo sapiens skulls from around 30,000 years ago also had larger brains on average than people today. Neanderthals versus Homo sapiens because many Neanderthal fossils and artifacts have been found in caves, the species became synonymous with the idea of cavemen. But many early modern humans also lived in caves, some of the most famous examples being the original Cro-Magnon man, found in France, and Cheddar man, who was found in Goff's cave and lived in Somerset around 10,000 years ago. Archaeological evidence shows that some Neanderthals looked after their sick and buried their dead, which suggests they were social and even compassionate beings. What did Neanderthals eat? Neanderthals is of highly carnivorous, ice age hunters and scavengers who ate large mammals. However, food remains preserved in the calculus, hardened tartar, around their teeth show that the Neanderthal diet also included various plants, either collected directly or from eating the stomach contents of their plant-eating prey. Neanderthals also ate fungi. In Gibraltar, they consumed mussels, young seals and perhaps also dolphins, though that meat may have been sourced from scavenged carcasses. Although Neanderthals were able to use fire, whether they regularly cooked their food is unclear. Could Neanderthals speak? It's very difficult to determine whether Neanderthals had spoken language as the tissue associated with the voice box doesn't preserve. However, they did have a similar vocal anatomy and their ear bones suggest they had a similar range of hearing to us. The complexity of their social lives also suggests they must have been able to talk to each other although their language may have been simpler than ours. Why did Neanderthals go extinct? We don't yet know. One view is that we are the reason. 
Early modern humans started to arrive in Europe more than 40,000 years ago. Perhaps Neanderthals were unable to cope with competition for resources from incoming groups of Homo sapiens. Ancient DNA began to be recovered from Neanderthal fossils in 1997, and this has led on to the reconstruction of several complete genomes. These indicate that Neanderthals ranging from Spain to Siberia were relatively low in numbers and diversity during their last 20,000 years. Neanderthals did not all become extinct at the same time. Their disappearance may have been staggered, suggesting that they were replaced by early modern humans as a result of local population extinctions, rather than being quickly overrun. Rapid and dramatic climate change may have been another major factor that contributed to the Neanderthals' extinction. When severe changes in temperature happened rapidly, the plants and animals Neanderthals relied on were also affected. Faced with such conditions, only the most resourceful and adaptable could survive. When were Neanderthals discovered? Although the first Neanderthal remains were found at sites in Belgium and Gibraltar in 1830 and 1848 respectively, they weren't recognized as such until decades later. It was the partial skeleton of a male Neanderthal unearthed during quarrying operations in the Neander Valley in Germany in 1856 that was first recognized as a distinct form of human. It was named as a new human species, Homo neanderthalensis, eight years later in 1864. It was the first ancient human species ever identified and is now known as Neanderthal 1. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share this video.